Okay, so we're going into summer day three. Full disclosure, uh, it's been two weeks since I played. I'm just coming off my summer vacation, and so I'm not even sure I remember how to play this game. I, have, I haven't actually played much video at all video games in the past two weeks. Nonetheless, we're gonna jump in. So what I need to do first and foremost today in games, I wanna see if I can catch the summer fish. I only have two fish left to catch, period. That is the crimson fish and the octopus. Gotta catch them too. Uh, they're both ocean uh, oct octopuses before 1 p.m., so hopefully it won't be too bad. I'll see if I can have like a fishing buff or something I can take with me. Um, need to get some bone fragments for Gunther. Need to make sure I get eight red cabbage as well. Uh, and kegs and heavy tappers. And hay. So I have a, a note here that says either buy hay or plant a bunch of grass starter or both, or just get rid of the animals. I don't really know that I need the animals so much anymore, but we'll see. We'll see. The question is, is, is having the animals worth the trouble of maintaining the animals? I'm not sure. Because I could probably plant more crops in that section. All right, it is raining. Oh, a lucky, lucky lunch. I wonder if I can make that. What's the luck today? Neutral luck. Okay, not terrible. Do I have everything I need for a lucky lunch? <gasps> I do. Bang! And that gives me plus three luck. Hmm. That's useful. We can mark that off my list. Okay, um... Give Pierre a stock list as well. I really want to get down to um, the beach as early as possible, but because I just cannot seem to leave well enough alone, let's make some more truffle oil. And we'll pet the dog too, why not? Okay, well, what do we have going on out here? Not a lot. All right, I'm going to ignore... Oh, hold on. Wait a second. Does it have to be sunny for these fish? Crimson fish is any. Weather any. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's go down to the beach immediately. I think that's where my tools are. Andrew Hetzel. What's up, Andrew Hetzel? How you doing? How you been? It feels like it has been ever since we chatted. Because, I mean, let's be honest, it kind of has. Let's grab some dish of the sea. How you been, man? What's How's your summer going? Good, thanks to you. Not too bad. Not too bad. Been, uh, it was a heck of a... Heck of a of a thing. Summer break. I mean, was it a break? The, the thing about it is, it wasn't really a break as much as it was a change, I would say, because it was super busy, a lot of traveling, um, a lot of, uh, I'm gonna drink, drink a triple shot espresso here, a lot of travel, a lot of, uh, a lot of driving and stuff, um, but it was good. We had, a, we actually had, so we've had a lot of fires, uh, around here, all summer um and it was super smoky um when we got back and when we left if i'm honest um but over the weekend like friday saturday and today it was actually like decently clear so we were able to get outside a little bit just enjoy the sunshine play some pickleball and uh so it's been good it's been good in that way for sure oh my goodness i'm just completely wetting the bed here Probably should have had one of those dish of, dish of the seas to get my plus three fishing. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. I can tell it's been a while since I've played this game. Yike. Anyway, Andrew Hessel, what's what's new with you? What have you been up to the past couple weeks? Anything exciting going on? So I see that you posted something. I will read it momentarily. I'm the fight of my life for this fish. Oh! And it's an octopus. Okay, we need that. Whew, under the sea. Under the sea. Um, nothing much? Sweet. Also not a terrible thing. Alright, that is the octopus. One more fish and we'll have this. This will be... The, I think this will be my first, like, section of things that's completely gone. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, okay. So. Crimson fish. Trying to get my MP3 player working normally. What happened to your MP3 player? Oh, 
I will say um, about the video that I did film the entire thing on the 360 camera that I have right here. Um, it's definitely, there's definitely some like good and bad things that go along with filming on a 360 camera. It's nice to be able to do your framing and stuff after the fact. Um, although sometimes some of the stabilization when you pull the footage off the camera and you process it through the Insta360 software, sometimes the stabilization will screw you over a little bit. I keep forgetting to eat my dish of, dish of the sea. Um, but yeah, I think that I was able to make a couple cool shots anyways. Definitely some things you could you can do with a 360 camera that you can't do with a normal camera. So I was able to do a couple cool things. Please be a crimson fish. Let's get this over with. Octopus. Uh, got a micro SD with 32 gigs of player not registering properly. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna have. Seems like a bit of a waste. Uh, you know, before I do that, let me just see. Difficulty 95. What's the difficulty on the octopus? 95. All right, never mind. Let's eat it. Um. Four, but ooh, my my bobbers die. Whoops. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I I really like. I don't even know. It feels like I was always busy over this vacation, but I I don't really have much to show. For. Like, I don't. What was I? What have I been doing? Like, I just I don't know. Like, okay, I'm working on the video a little bit. Um... Oh, one thing I did, did get distracted with, actually. So, ever since I was but a child, I have always wanted to fly. And so, I'm not even sure where it started, but somewhere along the way, in the past little bit, I was like, oh, I should look at getting my... my getting a pilot's license again, like, see how much, I mean, I knew it would be expensive, I, you know, but I figured, well, you know, let's, I should think about that and f do some investigation and learn some stuff and whatever. So, um, I learned some, some very interesting things. Uh, I learned that it probably costs ten to $15,000 to get a pilot's license. Um... Just in terms of like all your lessons and flight school and plane rental and whatever else, because you need to have a lot of hours in the in in the air um, as a pilot to do that. That all I know, right? Um, but here's the thing: I kind of thought to myself, "Oh, I should just get a pilot's license and whatever." Um, and even if I did that, like, oh, thank you for the lucky please. Um, even if I did that. What am I going to do? I don't own a plane, which means I have to rent a plane. Um, I should buy some more bait while I'm here. I don't need any octopuses for anything, do I? No. Alright, let's sell those. Um, yeah, I'll get like, I don't know, 50 more bait or something. Where's the bait? There it is. Um... So let's say I spent, you know, the ten to fifteen thousand dollars and got my pilot's license. I don't own a plane. Um, I was thinking, oh, I could like, you know, if we go to Vancouver, we could fly to Vancouver. But <laughs> the problem is that for the, now that we live in Kamloops, it would probably be faster to drive. <laughs> it's a, like honest truth, because by the time I would drive to the airport here, um, you know, you do the paperwork to rent the plane. You do all your pre-flight checks, you get clearance to fly, you fly down there in, I mean, you know, I'd probably be in, in a little Cessna or a Piper or something. It's not like a huge major plane or anything, so it's not really going to be super fast. It's not gonna, like I'm going to be down there in like 20 minutes or something like that. Um, and then you get down there, and I don't have a car, so I have to rent a car, so that costs more money. And, uh, so this is everything, so it kind of adds up. I thought, okay, well, I could fly to, like, see my dad. He lives in northern Alberta. Fly to see Diane's folks. They live back up north in BC. 
Um, but how often do we do that? And how often would we do that? And again, the cost of everything. So as much as it pains me, long story short, as much as it pains me, I have decided that my dream of being able to, to get a pilot's license one day and being able to fly. I mean, I'm not saying it's never going to happen. If I win the lottery or something. I have to play the lottery first, I guess. But um, yeah, if money were no object, I absolutely would. Absolutely would. I'd go for the, the whole nine yards, go like, you know, learn how to fly a jet and everything. But unfortunately, money is an object. So, oh, you know how it started, actually? It started by... Um, because I have my my um, pleasure craft my pleasure craft operator's license, so I can I can drive a boat um, in Canada, um, and so we were thinking while we were on our trip. Oh, hey, we're in the we're at this place um, called the Suyas, which is like right in between. It's like built basically right on on a lake almost. So um, we we're like, oh, we should rent a boat and just boot around the lake a little bit with the boat. I can drive a boat now. Um, and then didn't work out while we were there. We ended up coming home early because of the fires and the smoke and stuff down there. But, um, I thought, hey, we should, I should do that. We should look up how much it would cost to rent a boat. Just, you know, even here where we live, like we'd around the lake for a day or whatever. Um, and seeing how much that was. <laughs> and then seeing how much, uh, then got into like, oh, what about a plane? That would be kind of cool. And what about a flight license and whatever. So, yeah. But long story short, I'm going to have to put my dream of, uh, put my dream of, of being a pilot on hold once again. Um, which is sad, but what do you do? One of the first video games I remember playing was a flight simulator. Or, I shouldn't say one of the first, but one of the earliest video games I remember playing was a flight simulator when I was but a boy. Um, my parents put me in computer lessons um, because, you know, back in the 80s that was a thing. And uh, had a super nice teacher and she would let me, like, you know, we'd go through the lesson stuff and you teach me how to do this and how to do that. And at the end of it all, she let me play a game. And one of the games that she let me play in, in, in glorious CGA four colors, um, earliest flight similar try was on my dad's 486. Yeah, this would have been... I guess this might have been, been before that time, but... Um, actually, yeah, it would have been before. It would have been before the 286. But anyway, it was Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight Trainer. Was my, was my first like flight sim game that I really remember. And part of the reason I remember that is because I loved that game so much that I convinced my parents to let me buy it. And we ended up buying Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight Simulator version 2.0, which I still have a copy of. I mean, I have to run it in DOSBox now, but, um, yeah, that was like, I played the heck out of that game. And, uh, so yeah, so ever since then, I've always been like, I've always wanted to fly in 2.0. Ever since then, I've always wanted to fly and to, uh, wait a second. Is the Crimson Fish a legend fish? Am I wasting my time right here? Ah, crap. It's one of the... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it's one of the legend fish. Idiot. All right, let me sell some stuff here. Totally in the wrong place to catch this fish. Uh, all right, let me see how... Let me buy another trap bobber. And I'll get, like, 50 more bait. Okay. Now let's go be smart. <laughs> Legend fit? Yeah, exactly. Anyways, maybe I should do that one day, just for fun. I should fire up Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight Trainer version 2.0 and stream it. Just for old time's sake. Ooh, a lot of good forge. I still need to get my foraging up, too, actually. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Let's see if I can catch this fish. This is not it. That's alright. 
Uh, anyway, so yeah. I should do that one day. I mean, literally. I, I, yeah. I think discoverability on Twitch isn't bad enough without me playing a bunch of games that no one's even heard of, but... Um, but yeah, I... Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll do that one day. I'll... Uh, play a bunch of old DOS games just for fun. Just for funsies. Well, hopefully I can still catch this fish. Oh, there it is. Wow. That's neutral luck for you. Maybe I should have not drunk the triple shot. Maybe I should have brought like a ginger ale or something. I don't know. That was a particularly hard one anyway, so hopefully I'll get one I can actually catch. I've got to do it though. I have to catch this fish before the end of the month because if I don't, like run over, basically. <laughs> Been finishing my achievements in Portal mod. Oh, okay, yeah. How's that going for you? Because you're, you're doing Portal Two, right? Is that you that's doing Portal Two? I feel like that was a thing that was discussed. Oh yeah, this one we got in the bag, hopefully. In the bag, hopefully. Probably shouldn't have said anything. There we go! Nice! We have captured all of the fish. Oh, this is so good. So... So good. Boom! No more fish. One, two portal stories. Yeah, okay, so we're doing all of them. Sweet. Okay. Oh, so good. Uh, I still am waiting for this aged row. Artichoke is fall. I need to get some red cabbage in the ground. Um, hopefully I have everything else that I need. I also need to go see raw. Alright, let's go do some cleanup stuff right now. I'll grab this on my way. Talk to that guy, but he's only going to give me the mermaid's pendant, which I can't really take right now because I'm not dating anybody. All right, it's 4 p.m. Ooh, Pierre's is closed, but it's Wednesdays. No, he's open on Wednesdays now. He's just closed right now. Oh, maybe not. Yes, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take eight red cabbages. I'm also going to give Pierre this. It's my old stock list. I've been searching everywhere for this thing. Let me see. Yep, it's all still here. With these order codes, I can expand my stock to include seeds from all seasons year-round. Thanks so much for bringing this back to me, Paul. Can I get it right now, though? Oh, I can, too. I can literally buy everything right now. Sweet. Um, is there anything else I want to get? Maybe some more sugar? Uh, let's grab some... Buy a mango. I'm gonna sell these eggs. And like half my apricots. And the mixed seeds. That's worth 1200, I'll take that. Uh, Alright, let me just pick up a few sugars. If I can find them, this list is massive now. Um, maybe like five. Um, oh, actually, I can buy these seeds now. Just plant them in the greenhouse. How many artichokes do I need? I need three, including one to ship. Why not? Like, wh why wouldn't I? Well, artichoke, red cabbage, aged row. Crops, apricots, artichokes, banana, blueberry, bok choy. But I've shipped a bok choy. Because bok, which season is bok choy? Hold on. It's fall. What do I need bok choy for? Probably a recipe I don't have. Super meal. I don't get from. I get Kent. So I should have the bok choy already. Fairy rose, garlic, meal. Like all that stuff is just recipes. Like the fairy rose. I thought I made the fairy dust already. Did I not make the fairy dust? I feel like I did that. I have not made the fairy dust. 
That's awkward. Okay, well, let's go, uh, let's go I'm gonna try and catch Robin before she closes up. I think she might be there till five. Actually, not sure. Make sure I don't run out of coffee before I get there. Um, come on, Robin. Be here till five. Yes! Alright. Shop. I need to get as many recipes as I can get. The problem is, you can't buy the following recipe until you bought the previous recipe. So hopefully I have time to get them all right now. A gold brazier. Carved. A... Skull. Marble. Okay, we're good. So we bought the recipes from Robin. That's excellent. Pause the game, go back here. So we caught the summer fish. Yes. Bought the recipes from Robin. We bought the red cabbage. Um, how much time do I have to get these bone fragments for Gunther? I got five more days. That's going to be super easy, actually. Assuming I actually kept them, kept the 78 that I have somewhere. Um, okay, so let's... Um, that's not going to happen. Even if I have them at home, I'm not going to make it to Gunther in time. So I'm not going to worry about that. However, what I will do maybe tomorrow in game even is um, swing by... Oops. Well, look at that. Bone fragments. Is swing by Ginger Island and just get all the bone fragments I need. Check here. I haven't looked here in a while. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm just going to ignore that. Grab the truffles. How's my foraging level, by the way? Oh, I hit level 10. But I already hit level 10, so never mind. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is perfect, actually. I need... Because that starfruit's done, so let's do this. Don't know why I bought eight of these. I feel like that's kind of a bit of a waste, but anyways. Um, okay, I picked up an extra one by accident. That's fine. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. I don't have any seeds. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, let me see if I do have any starfruit seeds here anywhere. Uh, would they be here? 40. Perfect. That's all I need. That is all I need, hopefully. Ooh, hopefully it's all I need. My inventory is full. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff. No, you! Okay, put that in there. Uh, I can probably... I don't even think I need my fishing rod for anything anymore. We've literally caught all the fish. So assuming I have all the fish I need for recipes and stuff. Laughing. Uh, now where do you suppose I've put my bone fragments? If I were a bone fragment, where would I be? I got 217 right there. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just take a hundred of them and just give them to What's-His-Face to give them to Gunther, just so I'd have them delivered and then I can just gather them and not have to worry about um, delivering them later. And that's a good idea. All right, let's sell, sell, sell. Wait. Crap. Did I want to sell the coral? I'm not sure. Uh, the tuna, I might... Well, you know what? I was going to say I might keep some fish for recipes just in case I need some, but... Honestly, I don't. <laughs> as long as I have all the coral I need, I should be fine. I think I only need 10. Pretty sure I've got 10 kicking around somewhere. By this point, surely I'm... Surely... Surely I can't be serious. Yeah, I do. There we go. There's 10. Perfect. Okay. Um, greenhouse. And then I might just spend some time making some recipes just to get them off my list.
There we go. Might just leave these guys in here. There we go. So great, so we've got the, the artichokes growing. We've got the red cabbage growing that we need. We've got, uh, what else do we have? Got a little bit more star fruit. Uh, you do need to work on some kegs, but for that I need um, oak resin, which means I need to get some heavy tappers going. I think I've got some radioactive ore. I have that jet ticket. Oh, hey, Arctic Ar Ar Wolf, how you doing? How are you faring out in the west? We're doing okay, we're doing okay. That's been relatively clear the past few days. Um, you know, we've been able to get outside and, and enjoy sunshine and not just smoke, so that's been good. Um, yeah, had a good couple weeks vacation. That was uh, pleasant. Um, yeah, it's been not too bad. Uh, I have that jet ticket August 18th, returning the 25th. I may ditch it, paid 183 round trip. Nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's not, I mean, the past couple days has not been bad. It's still not great, I will admit. Like, it's not, we're not out of the woods yet in terms of fire season. Um, we've actually had some fires burning fairly close to where we live. It's a little bit on the scary side. But, uh, you know, we're doing all right, though. Doing okay. Ottawa to Kelowna? Yeah, that's a, it's really good. Let's sell these torches. I don't even know why, why I have them on me. Um, screw it. I don't know. Let's sell those guys too and that one. Uh, Alright. No laughing matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's been not great. We actually... Yeah, we had some fires probably... I think the closest fire was burning like... Five kilometers from our house. Something like that. Like, it's been pretty close. But, uh... We're okay so far, so I can't complain. How are you doing? How you been over the last couple of weeks? Uh, all right, so while you're answering that, let me see what we need for radioactive stuff. Have I made a heavy tapper? I haven't even made a heavy tapper. So right now I need two radioactive ore. So one of them is, is for a heavy tapper. Radioactive bar, heavy tapper, and a hopper. I should just make them. Do I have the recipe for the hopper yet? I do. I'm just gonna make these. Two of those. Bunch of hardwood. What else do I need? That's literally it, just hardwood. Oh, and one iridium bar. Hopefully that's enough hardwood. Let's grab all of it. Alright, so. We're gonna make one heavy tapper and one hopper. There we go. They're trying to address the bigger ones. Yeah, I mean, they're, well, funny you mentioned that. Um, the reality of the situation is that um, it's not necessarily about the size of the fire. It's about the threat to infrastructure. Something I never really thought about, but it is a true fact that... Uh, yeah, they're, if we're talking about, like, how, at least in BC anyways, from what I understand, um, depending on, um, you know, what is, uh, depending on who you talk to, um, yeah, the, the people, the BC powers that be will actually say, okay, you know what, this is a threat to things. Not even people, not the size of the fire, not the area. This is a threat to stuff, to infrastructure, to houses or roads or whatever. We're dealing with that first. And then they kind of go from there. So, which on one hand you think, okay, that kind of makes sense. On the other hand, you kind of go, well, wouldn't you worry about people first? But nope. Um, lightning strikes, getaway kit. Yeah, we're working on that too. We're kind of working on like having... Uh, um, Kind of like a bag ready to go in case we do get uh, uh, an evacuation alert. But uh, heavy tapper and hopper are both done. I need two radioactive ore. That's it. So let me grab. Make that another bar so I can make another heavy tapper. This hopper is kind of useless to me. It's really not very useful at all. So I can go in there. Uh, I'm heading around Enderby. Oof. 
Yeah. Oh wait, no, I was thinking Edgewood. Well, you know what? Let's have a look. Talk amongst yourselves, everybody. I have this bookmarked uh, right here. This is the current wildfire situation. If you're watching on YouTube, I apologize. I'm not going to cut this part out. The, the, the disclaimer is just says, don't trust this. Uh, okay, so Enderby is boop, boop. Um, completely forgotten. It's like over here somewhere. There's Lumby. I'm thinking Edgewood again, because that's this one. Here. There's Cherryville. There's Edgewood. Yeah, this is a, this is. A, I wasn't thinking Enderby. I was thinking Edgewood. Uh, just playing to change plans, Dan. Yeah, so like Edgewood's under evacuation. Um, this part here's under evacuation order. Farquhar is Farquhar is under alert. Oh, Edgewood's on this side. Yeah, it's under. I've been to Edgewood actually. That's how I know it exists. Uh, Enderby is right here. So Enderby's actually not looking too bad at the moment. There's a fire over here. It's tiny. Um, fire there. It's being held. Fire here is under control. And that fire there would have to jump the lake. So Enderby's actually okay. Enderby's okay. But yeah, these are the current fires around Enderby. So you've got one to the west. You've got two to the east. One down here, under control. They can see him. Oh, really? Like you're saying there's fires in Enderby? Maybe this isn't up to date yet. That's crazy. Yeah, as you can see, as you can see around Kamloops where I live, there's a lot of dots on this map right here. Uh, so yeah, it's actually been miraculous that, uh, including like this one here is like super close to the town, but um, it's pretty miraculous that... Um, we've had clear skies. I guess we've just had, you know, the wind blowing the right direction for the past few days. But, uh, it started to get smoky again a little bit today, but Friday and Saturday were, like, super clear, which was nice. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. It's been a bad summer for fires. I need to get more radioactive ore, I think. Excuse me a moment. Dab, 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 dab. Uh, I might, yeah, I might need to get more, uh, some more ore. So here's what I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I have no idea why I brought all this stuff with me. I still haven't put the sugar in the fridge. Uh, have I, well, uh, dwarf. I have given the dwarf two gifts this week. So let's do this. Let's go to the base, the bottom of the mine. Um, dispel the ancient magic seal of protection, allowing powerful monsters to descend from the deep. Yes. Great, thanks. The Mexicans are on their way to either BC or Northern Ontario. I can't recall. Fire 500 of them. Good. Look forward to the help. It's been bad. Like it's been, it's been. I really feel for the firefighters. They've been kind of run off their feet a little bit, trying to keep everything under control. Let's grab. I don't know what I even need. If I need coal or, I mean, I always need coal. <laughs> But do I need, uh, iron? Pretty sure I need some more slimes, too. Oh, there's a ladder. Yeah, it's fire season. It's fire season. Last year was pretty good. During the pandemic. But, I mean, that kind of proves the point. Last year was pretty good because everybody was, you know, staying at home, so... Yes, there are fires that are obviously, you know, caused by lightning storms and stuff. A lot of fires that are around have been caused by people. So, pretty disappointing about that. This is kind of the same story every year, but... Uh, they, are, they are lightning fires on reserve land, I guess, try and stop them, try and control them. Yeah, I mean, that's really all it is. It's like... They're not even trying to put fires out, because there's kind of no point. Like... What you're trying to do is just make sure it's not going to damage anybody's homes or you know, that sort of thing. So that's why a lot of times they won't even say, you know, like on my map, the fires don't get put out. They're under control and then they just burn for a while. Once the powers that be are satisfied, they're not going to spread anywhere. It's under control. And uh, 
so they might do some uh, um, preventive burning or whatever but some friends of ours actually had a fire like on the hill below their like basically in their backyard <laughs> like it was like their backyard dipped down over a hill and it was on that hill um super scary so they got evacuated overnight but that was again very close to houses and it was also very close to town so um they made sure that uh they got it under control quickly and uh they were able to get back into their house the next day but super scary stuff super scary But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's no joke this year. Uh, all right, so how much coal do I need in general? I need 55, hey? I might just take 55 home with me. Just so I have 55, because it's probably for recipes. It's just so I have them at home. Let's do that. And I think we should be good. I'm going to leave the stone here. I think I have lots of stone at home. I should be good. Uh, I'm packing here this week and next I have things of value. Not going to have fire, but we have torn had tornadoes previous years, warnings and all, yeah. Yep. Shout out to climate change. It's only going to get worse, which is sad, but what do you do, I guess? Like a barrier? Oh, Barry? Sorry, I was thinking of the barrier fire that we had years ago. Do I have... No! One of my crops died. Dang. Um, never tell where it's going to happen. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. Alright, let me get rid of some stuff. Get rid of those. Or that. Hey, let's go over to... Let's put the coal in here. Let's put... Alright, I still need those. Oh, let's put uh, the hardwood in there. Let's drop off my geodes. My geode. And my jade, my ruby. Uh, and my acorns. Sugar can go inside the house. I have a little bit of time. Maybe I'll just. Maybe I will go deal with the animals right now. Or will I. Will I oh, hmm. Can, can you milk a sleeping cow? That is the question. Duck feather, though. That's good. Can you milk a sleeping cow? Excellent question. I think a lot of insurance acts of God are now void. I wouldn't doubt it. Insurance people are not there to... Okay, apparently, according to Stardew Valley, you can milk a sleeping cow. There we go, in case anyone was wondering. In Stardew Valley, you can milk a sleeping cat. Ah, uh, I'm gonna head back to the house. I was thinking about going and emptying out the fruit cave real quick, but probably get this stuff sold. And get inside the house before I pass out. All right. And what the heck, let's throw another, uh... Throw one of those guys in there. Okay, let me put the sugar in the fridge. Finally. Um... Everything else I think is good. Sweet. Well, that was pretty sweet. We caught all the fish. We get the game saved this time properly. We have finished catching the fish. I have a bunch of res new recipes now I can make. You know, crafting things I can make. Um... They open up things on Friday here on Terry, and a friend on Twitch says they have to wear masks again, and they're like, ooh, really? That's too bad. Weather's well, good, fortune teller. Yeah, I found out recently that, um, and I had no idea, that I guess Canada has a higher vaccination percentage than the US now. Like, in terms of percentage of adults. And if we keep going on the same trend, we'll actually end up with more vaccinated people full stop which is like scary that which is just crazy to think about that we would have 
A star drop. That's for catching all the fish. Your angling skills surpassed even my old pappies. I'm impressed. This star drop's been passed down from Willie Senior to Willie Junior for oh heck, probably a thousand years. Seems I don't have any kids. I want you to have it, Willie. Thanks, Willie. Bam. That's exciting. It makes no difference. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of cake. Your maximum energy level has increased. The children are now getting some other viruses. Oh, Caroline sent me a parcel. Thank you, Caroline. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you can't fix stupid, I guess. I'm vaccinated. I actually got my second, uh, my second vaccine, um, Monday, last Monday. So I've almost had it for a week. So I am close to being as protected as I'm going to be. It's all exciting stuff. Uh, I might take this, make this mild, what? Make this wild honey into mead. Uh, how many battery packs? I only need two battery packs. Should I sell a bunch of these? Uh, neurological droids in UK too don't feel so confident. <laughs> well, it's not about that. Like, I feel confident about coronavirus. Because, again, I have, I'm have i vaccinated. So even if I catch it, there's a good chance I'm not going to die. And that's really all I wanted. <laughs> right? Like, that's what I'm confident about. So until there, un until, and it'll probably happen, I agree with that. I am definitely a, uh, a pessimist in that sense, that um, there probably eventually will be a variant that um, I'm not protected against. Um, sell those. That's going to be worth a chunk of change, actually. Uh, I don't need the parsnip for anything, I don't think. And that I'll put in the gifting chest. All right. It's all you want. It really sounds good. It's all I could. It's definitely all. It's all I could ask for, for sure. Um, but yeah, the um, the the whole neurological thing. Uh, the, the thing about the kids is a little scary because it's one of those things where even early on, um, I read a report that talked about how you know there were young people who were getting it and who were getting symptoms in terms of like skin and joint issues and uh um things of that nature not necessarily the the cardio no the cardio issues or whatever government medical are conflicting once again well i mean who are you gonna listen to right uh, i i'll almost into the medical community thanks but yeah i mean the good news is i haven't in, even encountered too many people that, um, which I mean, I guess makes sense. Why would people like that hang around me? But um, I haven't even encountered too many people that uh, are dead set against it, aside from some of my in laws. Other than that, other than that, it's fine. Uh, do I need to do anything else in here? I don't think so. All right. Some other virus they're getting to the kids. I'd have to, I haven't heard, I haven't heard of that, unless it's like chlamydia or something. What are the kids getting these days? I have no idea. Okay, um, <laughs> ignore that. Okay, let's, uh, I guess I may as well just deal, deal with all this stuff. I just realized I'm super low on hay. Um... How many eggs do I need? I might start selling some animals. Uh, where would eggs be? I guess everything else. I need two. What if I need to solve all the birds? I mean, I can keep the pig for truffles. The USA government has made Facebook and YouTube channel millions of false reports. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not even, yeah. Or they're doing a volunteer. I mean, I like to think I have, I've helped with that. Because if I see somebody post something stupid, I call them out on it, so. Uh, I only need two eggs. I might sell some birds. I'm going to keep the duck. Because I need the duck for, why don't I just keep the duck? I might just keep the duck. And I do want another rabbit's foot. Uh, where are the ducks? Where are the birds? I'm going to sell these guys. 
hate to do it, but let's sell. Sell that one, and where is the other chicken? I kind of want to keep the void chicken because they're kind of a pain to get. But I've got, if I really need to void chicken that badly, do I need to void anything? Void essence. I don't need any void eggs or void mayonnaise or anything like that. We just sell it. Where is it? And wherever, whenever I find that white chicken, it can go. Where'd the... Where'd it go? Uh, it's true about the kid. I think it was something as simple as the flu. As simple as the flu? What are we, sorry, what are we talking about? With the kid, the, the kitty vinkies? Where... Is, so the void chicken was up here with... Oh, there it is. Am I just blind here? Like, what's... Alright, so all I gotta do, and I have no idea where the white chicken is. But once I find the white chicken, I'll sell that, and I'll still have the duck and the... Rabbit in the coop. Great. That makes sense. That 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 all checks out. Oops. One of those. All right. Um. Okay. One of them. Bunch of bunch of those. Okay. Good. Uh, now I should probably. Uh, what do I need for mangoes and bananas? I need 10 bananas and one mango. Do I have the one mango already? I do have the mango. And I'll bet you any money I have 10 bananas kicking around somewhere. Probably outside, because it's for an obelisk. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. Just a little bit worried there. Um, let me deal with some inventory. Uh, I brought a truffle with me for absolutely no reason. That was silly. Uh, Quebec, the hospitals are running at 176% capacity. It ain't COVID. They do not have enough staff. They're heading to private sector. People laying in the hallways on the floor. <laughs> yeah. That occasionally happens in BC, just because. When I hear the news report about a teen drowning, I wonder if there's someone else involved. It's usually Al. Al K. Hall. I shouldn't say that. It's not, that's really insensitive. Um, Alright, let's just sell those. And drop those off. And drop that off. Okay, so we're going to go... I should just go to Ginger Island, actually. Might go to Ginger Island trying to finish this bone fragment thing. And then... Um, so if I am going to Ginger Island, let me take... Duck Feather. With me. And Mead for Willy. And let's do that. Call me Al. No, I know that song. Blackberry Jam. What's up, Blackberry Jam? Wow, the whole, all the gigs are here. Thanks for showing up, everybody. I appreciate it. I, I didn't know if anybody would show up if you've been gone for Alan Kenneth Hall. I think we'll just call them. Uh, how you doing, Blackberry Jam? I am doing pretty well. Um, back from my vacation. Vacation was pretty good. It was, it was, it was pretty all right. It was okay. Arcane okay, reports tend to be accurate, but this is really a mess. All right, so those get dropped in there. Boop. Now I just need to gather 17 more bone fragments. I gotta be able to come up with 17 bone fragments. Um, long time old chap, been doing good, very busy. Did you work on any new music? Nope. <laughs> Not a thing. I, um, the last song I had, the song you were helping me with, actually, that song came out on the 15th, which was Thursday. Um, so that song is out now. Uh, and that's the last song I had in the hopper. That's the last song I kind of had queued up, so... Um, yeah, there's nothing currently going. What are we going to do to get you motivated to do music again? 
uh, I do have I have some ideas for stuff. I I, I will at some point. Like I say, it's just going to be a bit. There we go. All right, to the island. Um. Yeah, it'll be a little bit. It'll be a little bit. I'll finish this challenge. Maybe I'll like I say. I I think I think I don't think I'm going to change. I think I'll keep the same plan I had. The idea, but what? So the I'll probably stick with the idea that I had before. Words. Um, and I will, uh, finish the Stardew run, and then I'll do a Hitman string, and then I will, um, start doing some music stuff again. Um, where the heck is What's-His-Face? Oh, he's, how'd you sneak by me? Okay, I now need to go to the dig site. Uh, the big question is, they are trying to get the economy going, a task grab, and I think they'll shut things down again in the fall. Wait, what? Oh, you're anticipating a COVID lockdown in the fall? Oh, wait a second, there's a thingy there. may have I think we we're opening up prematurely yeah I would well yeah I would tend to uh, agree with that I think do I tend to agree with that yeah, I would tend to agree with that. um it's it's yeah it's 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 tough it's tough because I mean again there's still <laughs> so I saw an old friend here um I mean an old friend I've only you know an acquaintance um saw him the other day and uh he was uh he was talking about oh we were talking about talking about COVID obviously because that's all we ever do anymore and um we were talking about how uh have I not uh, got all the I need six please oh yeah I, actually oh yeah we're good there we go that's what I want to hear 3500 uh we we're talking about the COVID thing and he was saying that uh, he was visiting, I guess, some family or some distant relatives or friends or whatever. And he, and they were like, he said, uh, <laughs> he basically said, and again, this is in Canada now. He said, oh, well, they're all Trumpers. They don't believe in the vaccine or whatever. And he was like, oh, sorry, I don't know how you guys feel about it. I was like, nope, I got my injections. I don't care what it was. Just inject me with something. So I am absolutely that guy. I am the inject me guy. Uh, but yeah, it was interesting to hear him say, like, these folks in Canada were pro-Trump and therefore they, they did not get the vaccine. It kind of made me not chuckle because it's sad, but it was just interesting um, hearing him say that. Uh, farm. Um, people want to eat and drink and shop and, and shop. People want to be happy. Yeah, but I mean, happiness is transient. That's the problem. I don't think people want to be happy. I think people want to feel happy. They want to feel like they can do whatever they want with no consequences. Uh, but I digress. Um, medical community knows there's a fourth wave coming. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. But like I said, I got my shots, so hopefully I won't die. Uh, this lockdown is far less inconvenient than, let's say, let's say being in France during World War II. <laughs> They don't know what they're dealing with, but they, uh, with, they don't know what they are dealing with. They do, but look at the world. I don't even watch the news when I do. It, it confirms what, what I figured. Iceland is doing well. The fact that kids have more pain receptors compared to adults who have lost a certain amount. Fingers crossed. We live in an immediate gratification society. People have no patience. You, sir, are not wrong. You are not wrong. I mean, that's literally it, right? Like, that's just... People just aren't willing to to sort of delay gratification or have to put up with any kind of mild inconvenience. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about it because it's going to make me mad. That's that's the honest truth. That's just going to piss me off. So I'm just not going to talk about it. <sighs> my my opinions are 
public. I have commented on it many times. Everybody knows what I think about it. I could sell the coat, the goat and the cow too, couldn't I? I don't think I need to sell them. I just don't need to deal with them every day. Yeah. All right, we'll throw that. Um, yes, it's, yeah, it's... The response from some people has been disappointing. That's my official... That's my official word. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, all right, let's get this dealt with. Make some more triple shot. I need to check friendship as well, actually. I don't know what's going on with the friendship situation right now. Um, no patience. Oh, I'll never be a doctor. Come to Prince George, there are lots of patients. Lots of patients and not enough doctors. There are variants, plural. Yep, I got my shots, but still being cautious. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. I got estrogen and Pfizer. Uh, gosh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I had Pfizer both times. So, um, it was, um, we talk about this, I guess. Yeah, talk about the, uh, so I had Pfizer both times. Um, first time didn't feel a thing. Um, Diane also had Pfizer both times. She didn't feel a thing full stop, uh, either time. Uh, this, but I got mine on Monday. So just, just, on just uh, about a week ago. About a week ago. So I used to see if Gus likes chocolate curry. Um, the first day, um, he does. Uh, the first day, I felt nothing. No, sorry. Yeah, the day I got the shot, I was fine. Um, just, I mean, it was an injection, so your shoulder, you know, your shoulder muscle feel a bit funny. Although the guy that gave me the shot, it was like the most gentle shot I've, I've ever had in my... We didn't start the Pfizer. Um, it was like the most gentle shot I've ever had in my life. Um... Got double estrogen. It felt like crap both times. Two days later. Interesting. You're climbing up Canadian descent. What happens when other people of various descent do not get the vaccine in time? Really bad scene globally. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, so the, the day of, I was fine. The day after, I had a headache. And I felt chill. I wasn't feverish. I just felt like I had chills. Like my skin felt like I had chills. Um, but I wasn't feverish, which was kind of weird. The day after that, no chills. Uh, still had a little bit of a headache. Um, unfortunately, that was the that was the day that we also left for the last leg of our not the good chill, not the good chill. That was also the day we left for the last leg of our summer vacation. <laughs> so basically, I was still like you know a bit of a headache and kind of you know dealing with that. Um, and then we drove down to. Asuyas and whatever else. So that probably wasn't the smartest thing. I probably should have stayed home and just taken it easy for an extra day. I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, but, um, but yeah. Uh, after that, and after that was fine. After that was fine. So, and I'm, I'm guessing the headache was down to, um, the shot because I have been dealing with some, some tension headaches and stuff just in general in life. Um, so, I'm guessing that's it was because of that, but uh, but yeah, past that I've been fine. I'm just waiting for my uh, my two weeks. Okay, let's do a gifting run, I guess. Um, oh, I should make more kegs. Oh, I can't make more kegs. I'll get more oak resin. Crap. Fine. Uh, let's ignore that. Uh, actually, no. Let's do some crafting. Let's do some crafting first. Um, salmon berry, my second favorite wild berry after the thimble berry. Interesting. I'm trying to think. Of, I'm sure I've had a salmon berry, but I couldn't tell you when. Like, I'm sure I've had one in real life before. But I am more of a blackberry guy, to be honest with you. I'm more of a blackberry guy. In terms of berries I've had, I'm not saying I would prefer a blackberry to a salmon berry. I'm just saying in terms of the berries that I like, I love me some blueberries. I also enjoy blackberries. And blackberries, blackberries and raspberries are the gift they keep on giving because you can eat a handful of blackberries and raspberries and you're still eating it like five hours later because the seeds get stuck in your teeth and everything and then everyone, and you're still like chewing on stuff for, for days. It's great. Um, blackberry over Android. <laughs> I don't know. 
I mean, full disclosure, I do own some black. I think I own some Blackberry shares. Uh, okay. Um, put that in there. And still. What am I doing? Crafting. Blackberries, decent. Raspberries are awesome. Number three. Tie with huckleberries. Huckleberries. Raspberries. Yeah, raspberries. Well, when we uh, when I was a kid, we had um, wild blackberry bushes. I, that's probably why I like blackberries so much. When I was a kid, we had wild blackberry bushes growing. Like, basically, walk out the front door, hang a left, and then walk up to the property edge, and there's, like, blackberry bushes. So I could just go out and pick blackberries. It was great. Um... And can get like stung to death because I was really young and was like really anxious to eat all the blackberries. Uh, but yeah, that's probably why I like blackberries so much. It's from it's for the nostalgia. I have all the bananas. Okay, let's let's do some crafting. We have a whole bunch of recipes now. Uh, let's see what we're going to make. That's not recipes. Here we go. So, geode crusher. Oh, if I have a Diamond and a fairy rose. I might just do that. I probably have some diamonds. And where... If I were a fairy rose... There we are. Let's make fairy dust. There it is. Ooh, actually... It's kegs, furnaces, and other refining equipment to instantly receive their product. Would that work on tappers? Probably not, hey? I don't know if that would. Let's find out. It worked. Sweet. There's milk resin. That will make me a keg. One is better than none. All right. Um, when you have... When you get to have wild berries... Mm, we already have about 25 pounds of raspberries so in, in the freezer so far this season. Wow. We go through about 80 pounds of blueberries a year as well. We can't grow enough. Well, we can't grow enough. Those we have to buy. Wow, that's awesome. Yike. One of the things that we did is uh, on our way back from... On our way back from uh, our vacation, is we stopped at. Um, there's like you, as you go as you drive through the Okanagan, there is about 15 trillion fruit stands and things. Um, so we stopped at a fruit stand that also had a bakery, which is why we stopped at it. But we'll gloss over that. Um, and uh, yeah, everything was amazing. I have so I have a few shots in my. Uh, in my video that I'll hopefully finish soon. Uh, only a trillion, give or take. Um, give or take, like, six. Uh, but, yeah, it was just... Everything was just incredible. So we bought some peaches. And actually, um, Diane made a peach... Okay, hold on. There's three different things. There's a crisp, a cobbler, and a... just want to stop by for a bit and tell you I miss you, but Queen Electro... Queen Electro? Dang. What's up with you? How, how, well, okay, well, I won't keep you because you're going to bed, but hello. G good to see you. I miss you too. I hope you're doing well. I hope your summer's going well. Hope everything's good. Yike. Well, thank you. And thank you for stopping in. I appreciate that. Wow. This has been, what a, what a welcome vacation back, what, what a welcome back from vacation stream. Took me a couple of tries, but I got there. Uh, apricots are one of my favorites. Wish I could grow them making wine or what. So, Okay, so there's a crisp, a cobbler, and a crumble. So you have a fruit, like an apple or a peach or whatever. Like, so you can have, like, an apple crisp, an apple cobbler, and an apple crumble. I know that there are three different things. I can't tell you what the difference is right now, because I can never remember. And I can't remember what... I think Diane made a cobbler. I think it's a peach cobbler. I think. Anyway, the point is that it's in my belly right now, and it was fantastic. So that is, uh, that's really the upshot of that. And that's all we care about. Okay, uh, I'm just going to start going through this and let's just start making some stuff. Have I made everything on this page? Yes. Get in my belly! Uh, it's a topping, essentially. Yes, but which ones? Okay, I gotta look this up now. Crisp. There's like, cause like some, some of them are supposed to have like oats, versus crumble, and some of them is just like a topping of of just stuff, and then some of them you actually make a, a topping. 
that is not just stuff that you're sprinkling on. So like this right here, for example, this picture, we've got some oats and stuff. Um, what they have in common. Okay, so here we go. There's also buckles as well. Oh my goodness, there's a buckle. Um, fruit. Buckle. What's a fruit buckle? Mixed fruit but Ooh. Let's look at this blueberry buckle recipe. Ooh. 980 calories of goodness. Ignore that. Um... Oof. Uh, let's just say I bought a house that I'm renovating, trying to move my parents into. Do you imagine I have no life now? You bought a house. Well, good for good for you. Buckle is fruit bakes as a cake with a streusel topping. Had a big supper too. I shouldn't be hungry. Um, well, I'm glad that hopefully it's working out for you, Queen Electra. Hopefully that's that's going well. I need to do that for my parents too. I need to just win the lottery and then be rich and then tell my dad to quit messing around and move back to BC. A life? Okay, so cobblers have a biscuit topping on fresh fruit. The biscuits are usually dropped onto the fruit in small rounds, giving it the appearance of a cobbled road, hence the name. So biscuit, I'm guessing, that looks like rhubarb, so that's disgusting, but I'm guessing... Is this like a UK website? Like, is biscuit, do they mean like cookies biscuits? Or is it like bread biscuits? I don't know. Crumbles and crisps. So, crisp would contain oats, crumbles would not. Uh, it looks like a fresh fruit with a streusel like topping that gets baked until the fruit is cooked. The original difference is that crisps would contain oats, crumbles would not. Oh, baking powder biscuit. Okay, 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 gotcha. Baking powder biscuit. Okay. So, crisps have oats. Crumbles don't have oats, and they have a streusel topping. Anyway, heading out, send me something to write to. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no promises. Uh, but yes, we will. We, sh we should talk once you have a life again. Uh, thanks for stopping in, Queen Lecture. I appreciate it. I hope everything is good, aside from renovations. I hope renovations are good, too. But, yeah. As someone who's replaced a number of power outlets in my day, let me tell you, a lot of swearing. Okay, so... Streusel-like topping. So, biscuit topping versus streusel-like topping. Oats versus not oats. Okay, there is something for me to forget. Um, once again. Uh, okay. What am I doing? Crafting stuff. So everything on page one's been made. Uh, slime incubator. Two iridium bars and a hundred slime. Dang. Well, let's do it anyways. I don't really want to use a hundred slime or two iridium bars for this. But... Guys, gotta get done. Slime incubator. All right, let's mark this off my list. Crafting. Slime incubator. Cobblers tend to be less sweet than crisps and crumbles. Okay, also good. Also a positive development. Speaking of not sweet, I don't think I ever finished the store because I have the attention span of a fruit fly. Um, so, as one does, we stop by this place that had a bakery. And, um, hyper speed grow. Stop by the place ahead of there. Um, and they had, at this place, the head of bigger, they had a, um, a particular sparkling apple juice that I really like. A yellow bird. Um, they have a sparkling apple juice that I particularly enjoy. Um, that I used to, used to be able to get it in a local grocery store, but now one can no longer get it from a local grocery store. It's quite sad. Um, I'm just going to make myself some of the less for lighter as well. So, where was I going with that? So anyways, they had this particular thing. It's they, the, the folks that, have, that make this product kind of made it more of a boutique kind of product. So, um... It's all jolly exciting stuff, and uh, so we bought a couple bottles of it, and then I thought to myself, hey, I should just look uh, at their website and see if I can find their stuff, and so I went to their website, and it turns out they ship. 
<laughs> so, so I might keep some sparkling apple juice handy. That might just be a regular thing that I do. Because uh, I really enjoy it. And the reason I enjoy it so much is because it's not super sweet. Like most sparkling apple juices that one could purchase from a regular store. Uh, super sweet. Stone fiber clay. So... Stone. Uh, so yeah, and this stuff isn't. So it's great. Deluxe retaining soil. Bam. What's the name of the sparkling apple? It is called Okanagan Essence. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, let me see if I can find their website for it. Okan Okanagan Essence. I think it's just like okanaganessence.com or something. Apple Essence. Appleessence.com. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, although if they want to sponsor me, they should absolutely, absolutely do. Yeah, so this is this is it. They changed the label since the last time I bought it too, but, but yeah. Appleessence.com. That is my favorite sparkling apple juice. Um, so we still have a bottle downstairs. And uh, there will be many more bottles to be had. It was, excuse me, it was like when I found out that I could get Dad's root beer from, there was like a wholesale place um, where we used to live that used to be open to the public, and I don't think it is anymore, but, um, and they had Dad, they had, you could get like a case of Dad's root beer. I nearly had a heart attack because Dad's root beer is like my favorite root beer. Uh, okay, there's no way I'm making Iridium bad. I do not want to spend five Iridium bars to make an Iridium band. I need 51 Iridium... Right, that's why I was keeping them. Because I need them for obelisks. Oops. That was a cock-up. Oh, well. I've heard that before. It's very good and refreshing. Yeah, it's tasty. It's tasty. I don't think... I don't even think they add sugar. They just use really sweet apples, and that's how they sweeten it. So it's really nice. Um... Ring of Yoba. Five gold, five iron, one diamond. Let's just do it. One diamond. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ring of... Wait for it. Yoba. Ring of Yoba. Beautiful. This is going super well. I really like Philip's Root Beer. My new obsession. Philip's Root Beer, you say. Root beer shop, well, 100 proof. Oh, I see, yeah. Phillips Root 100. Um, Phillips Soda Work. All natural craft brewed soda. Yep. Explore products. Captain Electro's Root Beer. I'm curious. That's not even at all I want to do. Where can I get this? Where can I get this stuff? That's, that's my question. Contact. They're in Victoria. They're in Victoria. I'm gonna bookmark this. Hold on. Okay. Next time I'm in, I'm in Victoria, I'll go check that out. I'll swing by their place. Uh, all right. So warrior ring, ten iron bars. Dang. I really want it. it has a very nice vanilla and sarsaparilla taste. I get it from my local IGA. Interesting. I wonder if I can. I might check a grocery store next time I'm in the grocery store and see if I can find one. 10 iron bars, 25 coal, and 10 frozen tears. Good lord. Ugh. I really don't want to use the coal or the iron bars. Oh, and have the iron bars. Never mind. Don't even have 10 iron bars. Probably for the best. Okay, so we one of those, one of those. Stone brazier. Excellent, thank you. Gold. One gold bar, one coal, five fiber. Gold bar. What was the other thing I need for that? Forgot another. Uh, coal. 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 Gold brazier. Uh, campfire is done. Stump brazier. Five hardwood, one coal. Five hardwood. Stump brazier. I have not been writing this stuff down. Uh, so I mean, Deluxe Fever, I made a Ring of Yoba. 
Did I mark that off? Yes. Uh, stone, gold, and stump brazier. So stone brazier, gold brazier, and stump brazier. Beautiful. Okay. Um, carve. Ten hardwood. We're going to run out of hardwood here. Oh, no, I'm not. What am I short of? Well, fiber. <laughs> we have three fiber left. So there's a carved. Boop. Uh, skull. Boop. Barrel. 50 wood. Do I have 50 wood? Oh, just. Whew, man. It's just uh, running a little low on resources here. Barrel is done. It's beautiful. Marble. One marble, one aquamarine. Ooh, a marble, hey? Might need to go crack some geodes. Uh, Mento, Mento's in repair. Do I have a marble somewhere? I have an aquamarine. Probably don't have a marble anywhere, and it's too late to go see Clint. So that's too bad. Um, I did see an extra ten frozen tears. Actually, just might might just move these because I had those in that chest. For, you know, to, for the crafting thing, but I'm going to leave them in the gifting chest just so I know where they all are. Uh, I don't have any marble, which is sad. Hashtag sad face. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's alright. Alright, I'm going to put this hay in the silo. Uh, and I guess I could have a bunch of braziers I could put around the house, I guess. So let's put one, like, start with this one. Put it uh, here. Uh -oh. Let's put one here by the fish. You know, they're fish, they gotta have light. I see a mushroom, let me grab that. Put one down here by the silo. That's not for the tool I was hoping it was gonna be. Okay, um, 118, wow, I was really low on hay. Going to head off, looking for the next stream. Thanks very much, Blackbird Jane. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out. Have a great night. What a stream indeed. What a night. Thanks again for, for stopping in, everybody. I do appreciate it. It's been, uh, it feels like I've been, been gone forever. It's been two weeks. Not looking forward to work in the morning, but how's your perfect run going? I mean, there's a decent chance I'll I'll make it. That's 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 my word. <laughs> that's that's all I'm promising. There's a decent chance that I will succeed. You know, as far as chances go. All right, let's throw. I might throw a brazier down here. Let's throw like the stump brazier down here. Oh, I can't put it there. Uh, let's throw it, like, here, then, maybe? Can I put it there? All right. Um, should I take another... Yeah, let's take oh, another triple shot here. Let's get moving. Look at all these trees that don't have tappers on them. I should really just make some more tappers, I think. I just really need the oak resin, like, super badly. Maybe I should burn through the rest of my copper... How many copper bars do I have right now? 131. But I only have 42 wood. But I can cut down trees. So let's do this. Let's make one more tapper. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff here. My inventory is super full. Let's get rid of the essence, the sap, the fiber, the clay, the stone. Um, can never catch me, coppers. Um, 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 let's bring up Yoba. but I just want to sell. I don't even want it. What was I walking over? Oh, I was going to walk to the greenhouse to drop off my fertilizers. They can all go in there. Thank you. Um, maybe I'll stick a brazier out here by the greenhouse. There we go. Okay, uh, actually, I do see a tree in here that could use a tapper. Uh, 
All right, I need to start cutting down trees that are not useful to me. So, here's what we're gonna do. Get rid of that one. I feel like I still need more hardwood. Maybe I should do hardwood while I'm here. Uh, is there a tapper on that tree? Yes, there is. Okay, good. I just need to make sure I have enough stuff. Enough, like, iron and, um, whatchamacallit, copper, so that when I do get, um, some oak resin, I can, uh, make some more kegs right away. That's kind of the hope. One day, if I'm lucky, and if I work really hard, I'll be able to upgrade my, my axe. cut down the oak trees, so I mean, I could tap them all, but... But, unfortunately... I just need to stay organized somewhat. Alright, let's see how many tappers I can make now, with the wood I've got. I can make five, then I'll take five. Alright. There's five more. I got three more trees there I could put tappers on. If I had the wood... Uh, which I could probably get, to be honest with you. I'm sure there's a tree somewhere. I could, I could cut down this maple tree. That's the wrong tool. Let me just tap this one, though. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Looking pretty good. Trying to make sure this stuff doesn't go grow completely out of control. All right, eleven thirty. How much wood do you need to make a tapper? I need forty, and I've got thirty. Hmm. You know what? Let's go get some more wood. Let's head down to Cinder Sap and start cutting stuff down. I'm really sad I lost some of those crops to lightning. I'm surprised that um. I thought lightning rods, I thought part of the deal with lightning rods is that if you um, have lightning rods on your farm, the lightning would be less likely to strike your crops, but I guess not. Or maybe it is less likely, but I just have enough crops so I'm going to lose some. Okay, and one more. Okay. How many can I make now? Three. Perfect. I can put tappers on those last three trees in that lower section. And how much time do I have left in my triple shot? Not much, but I should be okay to get back to... Actually, I'll just use my mini obelisk. I'll get back to the farmhouse. There we go. Probably still faster doing this than walking back to the farmhouse. Lovely. All right. So what can we get rid of? How much sap do I need right now? Now the 20 sap. Nice. And I've got four. I've got 434. Okay. So that can all get sold. Uh, I got a bit more fiber. Uh, we've got some more stone. We've got, I should really put that keg out by the uh, quarry, but don't have to do that right now. I forgot to rip that off. Got some wood and some copper I can put in here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, and that as well. And the coal, why not? And the bone fragments, why not? How many bone fragments do I need now? 110. 
I have 109. Sweet. Um, okay. Maybe I'll replace that with my brazier there. That'll look a bit nicer. Okay, sell that. Uh, I need to get a marble now. Um, need to make sure I get some marble. Sell the mushroom. Okay. I think we're good. So I think what we're going to do this next day is we'll get the marble. If I can get a piece of marble, <clears throat> I can finish all of my braziers. Like, I'll be done with that completely. Which would be kind of nice. A bunch more recipes done, which is super nice. Uh, okay, there we go. Pet the dog. Did I pet the dog already? Apparently. So yeah, I might try for a marble. Let's see here. Oof, 19 grand off those battery packs. 500 apiece. Nice. I'll take it. These battery packs are money in the bank now. Things are picking up. I just really need to get my keg situation sorted out. Alright, it is a Friday. Best luck. I should go fishing today. Alright, let's do this. Let me reload the predictor. And let me also reload this guy so we're accurate with the crafting recipes uh traveling cart may as well have a look um fair seeds spring onion fish two horse red cape carrot spinner sunflower tulip seeds climb toe plant retreat nothing there's a seed minus treat herring two pine pine tar seven bears uh, nothing okay don't need to worry about that geodes i need some marble let's just search marble What? Oh, I was like, wait a minute, you're telling me that the next time I'm going to get a, a frozen geo is going to be 226 trillion, 314 billion, 346 million, 374,387 geodes more? No, it's just 226 of the next geo then. Okay. So clear search 226. So I need. Yes, it was a frozen, didn't it? Uh, frozen 226. Yes. Okay. So I need to crack. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then crack a frozen geo. 11, then a frozen. So let's go for some iridium ore. So we've got some iridium ore right there. Get two. Literally it. So I need to crack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a magma, and then something, and then a, a frozen. Okay. Good to know. I don't think I need to go to the greenhouse today because I went there yesterday. Um, getting some oak resin, that's good. I can make a lobster bisque. I can make boy. I can make a bone mill. Well, heck. I don't have enough. Do I have enough? I don't know if I have enough. Need 10. Oh, okay, yeah, I have enough. Uh, three clay, 20 stone. All right. Three clay. 20 stone. Beautiful. Bone mill is, wait for it, made. Take it off my list. Bone meal. Uh, now, I can also make lobster bisque and... Boy, so let's go and do that. Maybe down near the bottom somewhere. There's... Boy, we've made ourselves that. That is done. And a lobster bisque, you say. Lobster bisque. Beautiful. Oh, this is going so well. Lobster bisque. Nice. We just have those things left to cook. Those things left to craft. Oh, so good. Ship a few of those things. Oh, my goodness. It's coming together. So happy about this. Okay, so now... Is it Leo that loves poi? I think Leo loves poi. I think... I feel like that's a thing. Boy. Yes, he does love a boy. Okay, so we'll save that for a gift. Lobster bisque. Anybody love this? No. All right, never mind. So we'll keep that one in case I need fishing for some reason. Uh, in the meantime, I've completely lost, completely forgotten how many, um, not that one. 
that one. Completely forgotten how many, uh, geodes I need. But we'll gloss over that. Alright, the bone mill actually is not super useful to me, I don't think. Um, I don't really, I don't, I don't really need the fertilizer. I've got everything. Put that in there too, I guess. I've got everything I need fertilized, I think. Like the greenhouse is all crazy fertilized and stuff, so. I don't know. What do you get? I should actually check. Let me see if I get anything else from a bone mill. Input items, output items. So you can get deluxe speed grow, quality fertilizer, speed grow, or tree fertilizer. I mean, the tree fertilizer could be handy. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll. Uh, well, I mean, if I if I maybe if I if I find some more fossils and stuff, maybe I'll hang on to them and throw them in the bone mill. Uh, but for now, let's get rid of that. Drop my coal back in here. I just heard a truffle. Ignore the animals for today. Oh, I should check for like a. I'm probably not going to get another duck feather. Nope. I was really hoping to get more duck feathers. Oh well. Oh, I guess I can grab that cheese though. Let's check the greenhouse. Oh, we got a few more star fruit done. Normally I would kind of wait and hope they sync up, but I think for now I'm just not going to do that. Let's try and get as many growing as possible. Let's try and go triple shot. Okay, um, so. Oh, my cherry tree's grown. Sweet. Or it would have been sweet if it had grown up when I needed it. Okay, so. What are we doing? Got some stuff. Let's drop off some stuff in the house. Grab that. Uh, put that stuff in there. And anything else can get. Is there anything else that I can drop off? I should not have brought the star fruit seeds with me. That was a mistake. Can try and make some more kegs. I should have enough stuff for kegs. And yes, and then we will go see Clint. Ooh, I don't. I do have a couple more iron bars up at the mine, though, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's grab some geodes. Um, let me sell a few things first. Maybe I'll head up to the train station and get wood from there, maybe? Potentially? Possibly? I mean, if not, I could go to Cinder Sap, I guess. What, uh, what warp problems do I have right now? Uh, mountain totem. That's useful. So let's do that. Let's take the mountain. We'll go down to Cinder Sap. Cut out of much trees. I need, uh, how much wood do I even need to make five kegs? I need 30 per, right? So I need 40, 120 wood right now and I have, <laughs> have one. So we'll head down to Cinder Sap, start cutting stuff. When I'm done, we will warp up to the mountains, stop by the mine, pick up the iron ore that I have, make the rest of the kegs, go to the quarry, Dump the case in the quarry. And then we'll go see Clint with some geodes. Um, so in total, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. Lost count. Passed it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need twelve in total. One needs to be magma. One needs to be frozen. So there's two more of those. Two regulars. And that is 12 in total. So that's three, nine more. That's not right. So I need 12. I've got 48 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So assuming I don't totally screw this up, we should end up with a marble. That's the plan. All right. So down to Cinder Sap. Take my mini obelisk. I actually remember it this time. And let's do some, some just cut out some trees. 
In fact, let's go like right down to South Thundersap or something. Cut stuff on the way. Actually, there might just be enough right here, to be honest. Yeah, also, it would be handy if I had more wood, but... I can almost farm wood. Another time. 102. That's really good. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. This tree probably might be a waste of time, but... Lost a few there. 118. One more tree should do it. Although while I'm here, actually, you know what? Let's just let's just take out this section. As long as I don't run out of time, I just want to make sure I get to Clint's before 4 p.m. Oh, it's Friday. That was Clint at this place on a Friday. This might be the day he's not working, anyways. That might be a thing. We'll find out though. Actually, I'm gonna check the wiki because I don't want to waste time going down there if he's not there. Okay, good. We're up to 400 wood. This is awesome. This is very nice. 11 o'clock. We're doing well. Lots of time. All right, 531, beautiful. Do I have something to give Linus? Am I maxed out with Linus? Yes, I am, okay. Sweet. Uh, the dwarf, however, no, it's the same week, never mind, okay. And look at all the iron, we got another thing to make a heavy tapper. All right, let's make four more kegs. So we got six we can put on the thing with the stuff. Go to the quarry. Some stuff is done. Do I care? I'm not entirely convinced I do. Although, to be honest with you, the fact that it's done means I might just move some of this stuff. Because it's going to make way more sense to, like, do this. Or it would have. Um, it would have, way, would have made way more sense to do that. It's going to make it easier if I had the columns complete, because then um, just be easier for me when I'm putting stuff in to take less time. Okay. That's all good. I might just grab the stuff and sell it, I guess, even if I don't put anything new into the kegs, or I'll come back tomorrow in game or something. And... Oh, triple shot right now. Okay, that's looking better, uh, I think. That's looking good. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right. So, 56, nice. Uh, geodes, let's, uh, was, no one's going to check the wiki. Let's just go down and see if Clint's there. Ooh, bread. Nope, it's Friday. Crap. Uh, I did see Caroline, though. I need to give Caroline something. Let's give Caroline some apricot, or an, an apricot. Mm. 
Okay, do I need to give Jazz, Vincent... I think I'm pretty good with gifting, actually. I'm really not. Uh, so Jazz... I haven't given Jazz anything. Vincent... I think I've maxed out Vincent already. Yes, and Penny. Nothing. Wow, I need to get my act together. Okay, so... Let's uh, just ignore that for now. I'll just I'll give Jazz a uh, apricot. And there's Haley, and Haley's getting a lot of apricot. Oh, I'm giving Haley coconuts. Yeah, I just need to do some gifting stuff specifically. Okay, uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? I might try to make another heavy tapper. Um, what do I need to make tree fertilizer again? Where is it? There it is. Fiber and stone. Oof. I should maybe go get some more fiber. Maybe I'll do a fiber run. I also changed the mine. I changed the mine difficulty to be hard now, so I can um, I can go get some more radioactive ore. So I'll probably do that at some point. Didn't bring anything for Krobus. Whoops. That's okay. We just need lots of fiber. That's, that's probably where all my fiber went. I probably... Uh, I thought I had a bunch of fiber. And I probably did, but I probably used it all for tree fertilizer. That's that mystery sorted. Okay. Um, gonna leave those bugs, I don't even care right now. It's just more stuff to deal with that I don't want to have to deal with. Just want the fiber. That's mainly just stones over there. Don't care about that. Ooh, took some damage. All right, so we've milked this for all it's worth. We got uh, 22 fiber. Or not great. Real not great there. That's okay. All right, still need to do some gifting. Um, I mean, I can work on gifting now, I think. Potentially. Can't, can't get Sneaper Cut. Uh, I could probably work on gifting now. I'm trying to think of. At some point, I need to get back to the desert and buy some more star fruit. Might do that right now while Pam's here. Friday. I don't think I should trade for anything today. Don't know why I'm grabbing these things, but anyways. <coughs> Hello, Sandy. Let me grab, like, another hundred or so star for just so I have enough for the greenhouse. I can redo Ginger Island when Ginger Island's done sell whatever I need to sell and use that money to buy more star fruit seeds. But as long as I have enough to keep the greenhouse going. Hopefully that'll be okay. So, um what next? Pam's just walking away. I like how she's like didn't even wait for the bus to arrive. She's 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 gone. <gasps> Aged row. Ship it. Nice. That's aged row shipped. I'm, I'm not going to mark it off my list until I confirm it here. Somewhere. Right there. I think it's because where it's going to show up. So tomorrow, that should show up there. I can mark it off my list. And then we'll literally only have like two things left to ship. And both of those are in the greenhouse right now. So that is just awesome. Just fantastic. All right, so what can I do right now? Let's deal with some inventory. So we've got some gifts. We've got some stuff for, for Haley. We've got some fiber that I can use to make tree fertilizer. Drop the stone in there and the coal in there and the bars in there. I'm going to keep the radioactive ore on. I'm going to try to make another heavy tapper. 
Uh, the sap I can probably sell. Um, the geodes we'll hang on to until tomorrow. Let's drop off the seeds. Tree seed. Let's drop off... Let's go to this. Go here. Let's sell some stuff. Let's sell the sap. Mix seeds. Uh, let's sell the 56 star fruit wine. Sell the cactus fruit. Sell the spice. I need to put some more stuff in my freezer jars, though. Um, let's throw... Blueberry. Let's go with some blueberry. Why not? Okay, uh, we have the so we have the geodes that we need for Clint. Uh, I do have one radioactive bar on me. That gold and that copper could be back at the mine. Uh, these seeds I can put in the greenhouse. What well, uh, heavy tapper? You want to make another heavy tapper, which is 30 hardwood and one radioactive bar. I'm going to make another one of these guys. 10, 20, 30. Beautiful. One more heavy tapper. Somewhere. Where is it? There it is. I might actually just hang on to it. Maybe tomorrow with some more, um, some more oak resin will pop and I can put the heavy tapper on there to double my efficiency. Um... All right, so we'll swing by the greenhouse, drop off the starfruit seeds. That will definitely be enough to regrow the greenhouse. Um, we'll go up to the mines, and we will uh, drop off the ore that I have. And then maybe I'll just go into the mine and try and get more radioactive ore. Energy's quite low. Eat some stuff. I have 69 apricots. Nice. Okay. Mines, yep. Brain should shut off there for a second. So that can go there. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Um, can't get any marble, so that's for that. No idea why I have bug meat. I don't even think I need bug meat for anything, do I? I have nothing. Only oh, 28 bug meat? For what? Haven't made a sturdy ring yet. No. Haven't made magic bait? What? Okay, hold on. What? 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 Okay. Have I made magic bait? Crafting. I have not made magic bait. Do I not have that recipe? What? Hold on. Hang on. Oh, I just straight up haven't made it. All right. Well, let's 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 make it. Okay, so I need, like, two more bug meat. Um, that's three, though. Have I I'm sure I've made bug steak. Surely. Yes, I have. Sturdy ring. I don't think I have the sturdy ring. Oh, I haven't made the sturdy ring yet. Okay, that's what that is. That I could probably do. Two copper bars. I could probably spare two copper bars. And I'll take 25. And how many do I, do I need still? Talking about 28, 25, 26, 27. Oh, so it's literally just magic bait and disturbing ring. Okay. So I need to get three, two more bug meat. <laughs> Wish I'd done that when I was in the sewer. All right, let's let's uh, let's try and get ourselves some, uh, some radioactive, uh, find a level that will hopefully give me some. Let's try this, let's try this level. There's three more bug meat. <laughs> Let's make uh, some magic bait. There we go. Mark that off my list. Magic bait. I thank you. Uh, okay. Um, great. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for radioactive ore, actually. That's what I'm really looking for right now. I have no idea. I should just have a quick look and see. Oh, wait a second. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I'm looking for it for tappers. So radioactive 
bars, which is from radioactive ore, which is in the mines. That is just in the mines. Okay. So I'm not sure if there's like a better or worse place to look for it. I also don't know. Does it show up on... Do ores show up on these levels? I don't know. I kind of feel like they don't. I kind of feel like they don't. Although I shouldn't waste my time on these levels because the rocks are harder to hit. So. Let's go to level 10. Just going to ignore everything. I literally only want... Watch out, a galaxy soul from that. Sweet. Need that. And a chi gem. Huh. This might be good. Let's leave that. Leave that. A galaxy soul. That's pretty sweet. Cause I, I, would, I mean, ultimately, I would want three galaxy souls, um, which would give me. Um, That would allow me to upgrade my, my galaxy hammer into its final form. Oh, I think my triple shot just ran out. There we go. Anything here I care about? Nope. All right, let's leave. Let's leave. It is best luck today as well, so... I think, anyways, it was best luck. Ah. I was like, oh, don't don't waste time with the, where you have to hit the rocks twice. You have, to, you have to hit all the rocks twice. Oh, there's some radioactive ore. That's what I'm looking for. A lot of hits. A lot of hits. That needs a lot of hits. A little bit of gold, right here. Yeah, I don't know how the radioactive ore works. Like, I don't know if you get more further down or like... I really have no idea. Got five, I can make one more bar. Every little bit hits. Every little tiny bit. Makes all the difference. Oh crap, it's those guys. Run. Just gonna go. Actually, I have lots of health, so I shouldn't worry about it too much, but... Still really don't want to mess around. Quick check. There is some radioactive ore there. There we go really super low on energy right now. And there's a lot of slimes there. Let's leave them behind. Alright. Put that in there. Pick that up. Oh, I can make one more. So I will. This is good. These heavy tappers are probably going to save my life. They might just save my run. It's actually kind of scary. Um, just how run saving. I mean, if I can just keep getting them. If I can keep getting those for heavy tappers, keep getting some copper and some iron and whatever, there's a decent chance that I could pull this off. It's just that 10 mil. It's that 10 mil. That 10 mil that you need for that golden that golden clock. That's what's uh that's what's killing me here. Nice, got an on me geode. Is there anything else I can do for... No, I could put in a gold bar. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. May as well get stuff smelting. Did I give the dwarf? I feel like I didn't. 
I wonder, I wonder whose birthdays I've been missing too. Oh, I did gift the dwarf. Okay. I'm probably missing somebody's birthday. I should check the calendar. Hold on. Uh, I missed Jazz, Jazz's birthday. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so Gus's birthday's on the 8th, so i got to remember that. I should write that down. So summer 8th. Gus's birthday. All right. Okay. Oh, I do see some radioactive ore. That's lovely. <laughs> Got two, uh, two geodes from that guy. From that, uh, digger guy. And a ladder. Sweet. Any more of that delicious, delicious radioactive ore? Quick screenshot, I think, is in order. Uh, I see nothing. A bit of copper, and that's it. All right. <clears throat> I feel like I should be on... Um, level 40 for the iron, but I don't know if it works the same way. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. It's not... Oh, there actually is some iron here, so wait. Apparently it does work the same way, because we definitely need some iron. Uh-oh. A lot of very bad things are going to come at me right now. And it's midnight. I'm going to grab this iron, I think. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's bad. Okay, that could have been worse. So I'm not getting a lot of radioactive ore, but I did just get 29 iron, so that's sweet. <clears throat> Let me just grab a bit of coal. And let's put as much iron in. So that's going to be six bars of iron, which is excellent. There we go. All right, let's try and get a little bit more, see if I get lucky... No. One more time. One more time. Give me some radioactive ore to end the night. No. Okay. Let's leave. <laughs> Just ignore that. Okay, Sue. So let's deal with some inventory. I've got four. Ra I've got four radioactive ore. I don't want to pass out, but on. Oh, there, 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 there. Literally all I need. I'm gonna leave that ruby behind even. Just get one more bar going. Alright, back to the house. Except before I leave, let me just make sure there's nothing I want to leave behind or take with me or whatever. So all the bars I want to take with me. Um or I can leave behind, leave the coal behind as well. Anything else I want to leave behind? Uh, the quartz can stay. Um, Jerry Bond could probably stay. Galaxy is so nice. Uh, I think everything else can probably come with me. All right. Let's head back to the hoose. Ooh, get stuck. Very important to get stuck on the sign there. All right, let's drop off this stuff. Very nice. Let's drop off this stuff. Also nice, except I still want to have that on me. Uh, so we're going to summer six. Let me start taking some notes here. So summer six, uh, probably no animals. Uh, greenhouse, uh, need more kegs, heavy tab. So what we're we doing right now, right now we're doing uh, radioactive ore for heavy tappers. Um, we still need more kegs, obviously. Um, oh, um, uh, crack geodes for marble for marble brazier. Brazier. Um, pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So let's uh, put the gold bars in there as well. 
Uh, I might just sell the deluxe retaining soil. It's not super useful to me. I'm tempted to sell the magic bait too, but probably shouldn't. Galaxy Soul can go in there until I go to Ginger Island. Alright, let's sell a couple things. Let's sell deluxe retaining soil, mixed seeds, green algae, bat wings. Catch fish from any season, time, or weather. I don't need to catch fish anymore. Maybe I will just sell it. I don't need to. I don't have any fish to catch. Let's see what it's worth. That looks pretty good. Let's go to bed. But first, let's put another truffle oil in. I mean, I figure this has got to be worth it in the long run, right? Like, it's fairly convenient for me to put truffle oil in. Um, I'm still getting truffles, so I mean, it's it's like a thousand a time or something. So it's like. It's got to be... It's got to add up. Alright. There we go. So we made 180,000. It's not... great. <laughs> uh, hopefully I can really start making some more money. We really need kegs. We really need kegs. Alright, but let's just check. Let's just quick do a quick review of... Um, let's just make sure it counted me shipping. Age row. Very nice. That comes off my list right here. Um, so I mean, we're getting down to it in terms of like questing and shipping and crafting and everything. We are really getting down to it. <laughs> we are really getting there. We're getting real close. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Um, anything else I need to worry about right now? What's going on here? More hay from Marnie. Thank you, Marnie. Oh, Demetrius wants a puffer fish. Okay. Do I have that puffer fish? I feel like I do somewhere, hopefully. Uh -huh. They got two, perfect. Okay, so Demetrius needs a puffer fish. Puffer for Demetrius. Um, and that will be that quest complete as well, actually. That's that quest right there, aquatic research. <clears throat> uh, and that's the last puffer fish I need, so anything else I can get sold. Um, yeah, and then it's just uh, keg stuff, really. So, that's the plan, is uh, let's take care of the greenhouse uh, and just more kegs. We just need all all of the kegs. Literally all of the kegs. Yeah, that's the plan for next time.